recording. Mm -hmm. Alright folks, welcome back to another episode. Um, back in, when did you kill that deer? Last deer season? The month. I don't know. November? End of November? End of November? Sometime in November, Megan shot a really nice buck. And I'm going to play back that footage for you guys right now. Um, that's the first buck that sh she's ever self-filmed, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, first buck she's ever self-filmed. So we're going to do a spin off of that video with a little catch, clean, and cook. And then we're going to take it to the backyard. And we're going to go over my bow setup and what I'm planning on using this coming deer season. Uh, and I'm also going to announce a couple of broadhead companies that I'm doing some work with. And I think it would be really neat. But y'all enjoy this deer hunting footage really quick. Yes. job. This is the best kind of game. It's the wild kind. This is nothing special. It's 
venison and it is marked burger there. That's what we got in the pan. Frying up, sizzling up over here. One pound of just regular ground meat. All processors can do that pretty easily and pretty cheaply. Um, now this is cool though. So I don't remember, this is probably a TikTok thing. I found them. Yeah, Megan found these. This is a salt dispenser. Automatic. Turn it upside down and it dumps the salt. Same thing with pepper. You can put the crack or the actual peppercorns in there and it'll grind it. A little salt and pepper and then the famous Cajun two-step. It's kind of blurry. It's, it's not a paid type of deal but everybody's been going nuts over this stuff and I've decided if I ever saw it on the shelf, I would buy some. We were in Academy the other day and got some Academy. So we're going to season this up with some Cajun two-step. These are going to be tacos. Mm -hmm. Super simple, easy recipe that Megan found on Facebook or whatever it was. Cajun tacos sounds a little bit funny, but I'm all for trying some new things. I'm really excited to try this Cajun two-step because I haven't tried it and there's people going crazy about it all over TikTok, all your cooking uh, channels on Instagram reels and Facebook reels and TikTok, they all like this Cajun two-step and everybody's using it so I figured I'll jump on the bandwagon and give it a shot. We're going to brown this up good and then we're going to throw in a few simple and easy ingredients and we'll show you those along the way. These should be pretty yummy. Onions, half a diced onion. These are pre diced, so that works out easy. We don't have to cry. Yeah, uh, they don't bother me anymore. Half a diced onion in here. As your meat's getting close to being completely brown, let those onions sweat down a little bit. I'm gonna stir those in, mix them around. If you don't have one of these thingies, you gotta invest in one. They're pretty sweet. I like the ground meat, sausage, and stuff. Once you get these onions sweated down and the meat sweated down, we're going to add in a small can of mild Rotels. I've already got it cracked open, so we're going to do a little this number right here. I'm not going to drain this off because we're going to be adding some cheese and melting some cheese in here. And I don't want it, I want it to have some, like a little bit of a runny consistency. Put those in there, stir them around, let them kind of cook down for a second, and then we're going to add our cheese in. Velveeta cheese. Gonna do a little Velveeta original. Make like a Rotel dip. Yeah. It's basically just cheese dip or queso, whatever you want to call it. But you put it in a tortilla or crunchy taco shell and eat it that way. I think it's gonna be really good. And we're gonna melt those down. It's three, three or four, what? Three simple ingredients? Four. Cheese, Rotel. Cheese, Rotel. Onions and meat. Yep. And then we're gonna top it off with a little bit of lettuce. And this is cool. Megan found this at the grocery store. You get a, the best of both worlds. Combo hard and soft tacos. We wanted both. And we got both. This is melting down. We're gonna add a little bit more Cajun two-step in here. Stale cracker would be very proud. I think we need to link up with the man and do some hunting or fishing together. I think that'd be sweet. What do you think, man? I agree. You think so? He cracked me up. So we literally just made cheese queso with meat in it, but we're gonna put it in a taco, so it's gonna be 10 times better. What? Show them our queso. With lettuce and sour cream and... Rice. Rice, we're mixing up some rice. We're gonna over. make some Spanish rice and put it together. Stale Crack would be so proud. Y'all uh, you'll start reaching out to him and tell him that for me and Stale Cracker need to have a little collaboration. I'll take him fishing. Um, we'll, we'll go do some hunting. Maybe I can head out to his neck of the woods and we can link up and do something. It'd be pretty cool. 
I can kind of taste it in there. It's good. Like Cajun? Mm-hmm. I might should have drained the tomato sauce. So it wouldn't be so runny. Good? Cool. That was really good. Yeah, it was really good. So we're gonna finish eating dinner, and then we're gonna round our bows up. <coughs> and we're gonna step outside, set the target up. Let some arrows fly, go over my bow setup. And that's gonna be kind of the gist of this video. We're also gonna run over a couple of different broadheads that I'm gonna be using. Um, one is a broadhead that you guys haven't seen on the channel or ever even heard me uh, talk about in a very long time. So I'm excited to bring it back and announce the new little uh, partnership that I've got going with this particular company. So stay tuned towards the end of this video. But for now, we're going to finish eating and then we're going to get all the rest of the, the video rolling. I ate the rest of it. She ate the rest of it. It's okay. I'm extremely full. And I'm ready to go over this bow setup with you guys. What I've got here is I've got a stock archery silence area area arrow. It's a 340 spine and it's 10.9 grains per inch, four millimeter decked out. This is my newest set of bow bullets and I love them. These are flying absolutely phenomenal. This is what I'm taking elk hunting with me uh, in New Mexico in September. And I'm super pumped about it. So here's what we got. This bow was gifted to me by Mr. John Verhouse. This is um, a Matthews V3X. This one was gifted to me last year. I have absolutely loved this bow. This is the 29 inch axle to axle. This one is set at 75 pounds currently. I switch back and forth between my Sniper Hog Lights 30 LR, which actually has an LRX bulb in it, so it's a little bit brighter and my quick stick archery stabilizer and they're super cool i want you guys to check out quick stick all it is is a magnetic stabilizer there's no rattle while you draw there's no rattle after the shot um, this thing is super solid and it makes for a really quick change for me it's so super duper convenient with this adapter here because i can put it on any stabilizer you guys need to check them out you will not be disappointed mr quentin williams a good buddy of mine has done a phenomenal job um, with the engineering and the, the thought and all the, the cool things that go into making a product for the archery uh, world, the archery industry. What I'm shooting here is a sniper, sniper hog lights. This is a spot hog, <laughs> Fast Eddie. This is one of my favorite sights in the whole entire world. This is actually a three pin, which took me some time to get adjusting, adjusted to. And here's what I mean by three pin. You guys 
can see right there. Um, the way mine's set up currently, my top pin is set to 20 yards. My second pin is set for about 31. And then my third pin down the one at the very bottom, that's closest to the bottom of the housing, is set up for uh, 41 and a half yards. This bow at 75 pounds with my current arrow setup is laser beams out to uh, 40 yards and that's why you don't see a whole lot of difference so essentially it's 20 30 40 and then this is the ultra rest the matthews ultra rest uh, is the integrate mx and man i've been i've been really really impressed with this rest it has been solid it has been quiet and i haven't been losing uh, the felt off of it like I normally would. It's, it's very quiet and I love that. So that's the rundown of my bow. These arrows with 125 grain broadhead. I am somewhere in the neighborhood of about 515 grains total arrow weight. That is including the nocturnal lighted knock. We're going to do a quick little unboxing and I'm going to be filming some videos on this as well. But back in 2019 I had a run in with several broadheads and their old social media manager person and it was uh, a couple of years, actually more than a couple, three or four years, that the whole conversation and experience just really left a bad taste in my mouth, and that's why over the years I've never, ever uh, used these broadheads and shouted them out or done an, an official review on them because I was really disappointed with how this whole situation was handled with Sever back in the day with their old social media manager. Uh, back about a month and a half ago, I got in touch with and went through and talked with the social media manager of several broadheads and the company has just really impressed me and to be honest with you out of all the broadheads that I've tested over the years this one is hands down my top two favorite uh, broadheads of all time and I've tried a bunch of them so what we got here is we've got a, a great big care package from several broadheads they really hooked me up here we got a hat I will be wearing some I love broadheads. And then we've got some cool little things down here. we got some stickers. We've got some decals and things. You've got a way to set up your practice heads with this uh, little set screw here, change blades, as well as take the broadhead back down to normal shooting uh, position and go put it back in the quiver with the bands shows you the parts here, shows you how to set up the practice mode, it shows you how to close the blades, replace the blades, all that great stuff. An awesome thing to have. And then down to what we're really getting into here. This is the Sever 2.0, solid titanium, and they're stinking awesome heads. I've been shooting these things for years, and for years I've wanted to do videos and um, have a relationship and a partnership with this company. and. I never had the opportunity until now. There's that practice tip. These are wicked looking. They're really clean, sharp looking. I like them. Okay, a couple of arrows rigged up here. Take some shots at 20, 30, 40. And then as we get closer and closer, we're a couple months out. As we get closer and closer, I'm going to start stretching out my shots out to 70, 80, and probably even 90. But we're going to start with about. 23, 24 yards right here. I'm aiming for the phone sitting on the ground. I'm going to pick my spot. One to 30 for the green line.
that's going to be it for today's video. Only running half a dozen arrows. Shoulders are already kind of getting to be a little bit tired. So I'm just going to ease back into things, step it on up. Maybe tomorrow or day after we'll shoot a dozen. I'm going to get back to what I'd like to do is get back to about 75 to 100 arrows a week where I used to be. And my shoulders, my arms, my back, specifically my back was in great shape. And so we're going to get back to that, keep shooting, keep practicing. And then we're going to be ready for deer season that's only like 80 something days away. Elk season is even closer than that. And, and of course, uh, pigs, which have been few and far between, if we start moving back in, we're going to get back uh, after them as quick as we can. But with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to go down into the uh, comment section below, leave comments if you enjoy these kinds of videos. But I am now going to start calling field to fork style of videos. Also, uh, don't forget to go to the description and check out the things there at the very top for arrows and broadheads and things like that. All my gear is down in the description below as well as far as um, like archery equipment, my release, all that good stuff. It's all there, lots of other hunting clothing and um, miscellaneous items. But with all that said, thank you guys once again for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in just a few days.